all right hello welcome everybody to my channel this is going to be our first video here and i'm super excited so if you like to learn how to make a quick little swirl video um co-process and then continue watching so right now i am just going to go ahead and pour my live solution into my oils and butters this has already been cooled down to about 130 degrees and um, while pouring in the last solution I try to mix it up so that it is getting um, very well mixed together and of course you want to make sure that you get some trace with your mixture so that it doesn't um get like a gel type su substance if you don't mix your solution very well then it could not be saponified um this one i did to a light trace because i wanted to make sure i had enough time to do the swirls and sometimes it might you know um it might like not trace or it, it traces like a very thick trace and that doesn't give you enough time to do swirls so if you are want to do like um swirls or any type of design or something like that i would do it to a very light trace and then once you add in your colors and fragrance oils you'll have enough time to uh do those types of designs and yes excuse my belly because it's definitely in the way right now i am using titanium di dioxide actually no this one is um by nurture soap it is snow white or winter white they're winter white i didn't use uh, titanium dioxide this time um winter white color this color i didn't want it to be like super bright white so um but i also didn't want it to be the the same color as this like actual soap base like say you want to make an unscented soap base i want it to have some type of color to it so um here i am again adding in a little bit more of the winter white by nurture soap because it wasn't quite right it, it would still come out um like the base color of like the oils and everything and, and as you see uh, when you're stirring in your color it starts to get a little bit more thicker and now i'm going to add in the fragrance oil um because this fragrance is uh this fragrance is cocoa coconut lime verbana by nurture soap um i'm trying to make sure that everything mixes well um, with the immersion blender you're going to mix it so that everything is incorporated and that's what i did so now you see how everything looks as though it is incorporated And I'm going to grab my mold, which I always spray with alcohol first. It's just a habit of me doing that. This mold, I'm going to pour in all, all of that soap. See, it's down. That one's down to about a medium type trace. Still, well, light to medium. I'll say light to medium trace. So I'm just making sure that everything is even and it's up as high as enough that enough that I want it to go or I want it to stop at um, the white to stop at for this soap. I'm just making sure I get every little bit of soap out of the container because who wants to waste soap? I definitely don't. And sometimes and I'll spray the top layer with alcohol so that it doesn't have any bubbles in it and um 
I'm grabbing the next color. The next color is a light, uh, like a little bit darker green I was going for. And I believe this is by Nurture Soap as well. Um, colors I will leave in the description box because I have to <laughs> double check. But I believe that it's a little bit of green, vibrant, and hello spring. And then that color is by another company. I just can't think of the name, but I will definitely leave it in the description so that you guys can have it. Again, I forgot to add the fragrance oil to this, but no worries. Because what I did at the top of it, um, I added fragrance oil and the fragrance will balance itself out. So you see the other color is like a lighter color. Like I want it to be like a, like a lemon type color. So that's the color that I was going for. And I'm just going back and forth, back and forth um, with the color so that they're at the top. I didn't want this swirl to go all the way down, which is why I did majority of the white at the bottom. So, and then the colors on the top, I didn't want it to go all the way down, like to the bottom. And of course, clean up whenever you waste some of your soaps because... This does have lye in it and you don't want it to just be sitting on, you know, whatever surface you're using. And again, I'm just going to keep on continue going back and forth with the colors. Um, for it's kind of like a drop swirl um, technique, I believe that's what it's called. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to keep on going until you are done with the swirls um there's no particular pattern like whatever comes out of the swirl is what comes out like there's no particular um no particular like a uh, type of swirl content that i'm looking for i just wanted to make sure it's a drop swirl so off camera i definitely made some frosting out of some um, soap mix that I had and I added the fragrance oil that I forgot to put into the green color um, swirls into the piping on top and I'm just going to pipe until I get to the end and this is just so that I wanted to add a little bit something different um to the top of the soaps you know because i'm going to add on some embeds on the top of them i want it to kind of look like a a bar like a a lemon lime like key lime pie type bar is what i'm thinking about the scent um the fragrance oil that i'm using for this soap Coco coconut verbana it's really not like you really don't smell coconut too much it's more like a lemony lime like key lime type um smell it smells amazing but it's more like that and that's kind of like the look that i was going for so again you're just gonna pipe and i'll leave the recipe for everything that i've done or used for the soap at the bottom um the piping i didn't use a different type of piping for this soap because i had enough uh leftover soap base and i didn't feel like creating more work for myself so yeah you just want to continue to pipe until you're done Right now I am adding on the embeds, which is going to be like one green, one yellow, alternating for the bar so that each bar can have some type of the embeds. The embeds were made out of melt and pour soap. It's very simple. Um, I didn't add any fragrance to those because... Um, and most embeds really don't need you really don't need fragrance on them 
because they're just it's just something to make it look pretty uh, but they are like small I think these the mold is a small um, ball like small ball mold and that is from Brambleberry I got those from Brambleberry and um, you basically just you know put them on top and once the soap is dry you'll be able to see um, you know what the soap looks like so I'm just going to add in some more frosting or piping <laughs> um, to places where I saw that I wanted to add just a little bit more because I had enough or I thought I had enough <laughs> uh, soap uh, piping to add to um, the um, tops of the soaps and again this the piping does have fragrance in it and even if it does you can still smell the fragrance um throughout the soap it's it's a very it's a very strong soap fragrance and i believe that i'm like squeezing all this soap piping out of the way and there we have it guys that is the end of this video um it's pretty easy i hope you guys enjoyed it and as much as I enjoyed making it for you, if you like to see more videos or ones like these, just let me know below and I will sure to be, try to upload them for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.